Hi guys, um, I'm going to wait until more people get in here so I can um, kind of explain about this and talk about this for a minute because um, Cody's live too, but I'm basically just going to say that the, this, the drama is over, there will be no more posts about it, there will be no more talking about the drama, there will no be, I don't want any of you to post about the drama anymore. I want to be okay with Cody, and I want to be able to work on myself, and I'm going to change myself for all of you so you can see that I, I messed up and I made a choice, but I'm still the same person that I was from the beginning. Yes, I made a choice. Yes, I did things that I didn't need to do, but um, my fandom, if you're a fan page for me, I love you. If you're a Zodi fan page, I love you. Um, you guys are my literal everything. And you guys are the reason that I'm still happy. You're the reason why I'm still posting on social media. You're the reason that I'm not deactivated yet. You're the reason that I'm still going. And I love you so much. And your edits mean everything to me, and I love looking at them, and I love seeing them. Um, but I just wanted to say to my friends that I've hurt, that I'm sorry, and I love you. And um, to stop putting down my friends, such as Cam. They can have opinions, but Cam is still my friend, at least I think. Um, Diego, is. I hope he's still my friend. I love him, I love all my friends, and I know I've hurt you, and I know I've done a lot of shit, but I still care about all of you, and I hope that you can learn to forgive me. Um, but, um... I just, I feel really guilty for everything I've done. And, um, I'm sorry for bringing this to social media again. I didn't want it to come to social media. I just wanted Cody to guest me so I could talk to him, even though it should have been on, um, even though it should have been on FaceTime, which we talked after we hung up on each other and everything. But, um, I just wanted to say that you guys mean everything to me. Cody means everything to me. All my friends mean everything to me. Dawson, Ambry, all of you, Kayla, Krista, Brandon, all of you. You guys mean everything to me. I'm sorry for ever putting you down. I'm sorry for ever being the way that I was to you. I'm sorry to the people who used to support me that I, I brought you down and I made you change your opinion on me. And you have every right to hate me. You have every right to dislike me. But posting about me like all over TikTok, telling me to kill myself, like... It's just not the mature or right thing to do. Like, you all have so many other better things to do with your life. You have, you all like, go through things, you all do things. Um, but I just want this drama to stop, and I want everybody happy again, and I want, I just want my friend, my friend group back. I'm sorry to Jesse, Sebastian, Oliver. I'm sorry to all of you. I'm sorry to Drake. You guys are, you guys were my best friends. And I hope you, I hope we still are best friends. I hope that we can move on from this. And I hope that things can get better. Because I know that I'm going to change as a person. And I know that I'm going to become a better person. I'm going to become the Zoe that I was. 
before any of this happened. I'm not going to make the stupid decisions that I made. Um, and I'm not going to let people put me down anymore. My comments will remain on for now on. You put me down. You call me names. That's your decision. Um, that's what you want to do. If that's really how you want people to look at you, go ahead. But I'm not going to let people put me down anymore. I'm not going to let people get away with it. I'm not going to let it get to me. I'm not going to cry over it. Because you all have opinions. But commenting on my stuff all the time. that That's the reason why my comments were off. It's just not... It's just not okay. But I'm just saying that I've made mistakes and I've learned from my mistakes. All my mistakes that I've made, my choices that I've made, I've learned from them. And you guys, I love you too, Caitlin. And I mean, well, thank you. I, I love you, Caitlin, but you guys are my everything i literally look at your letters all the time your posters that you made me on tour i look at those all the time i go through all my letters i like read my letters every day and when i'm sad i read your letters and i read your comments and it just brings my mood up so much um you guys are amazing you really are and if you're going through something right now and you're wanting to kill yourself or you're wanting to just end everything, please know that um, I've been I've been there and I've been in your position and I know how it feels and I know you just sometimes want to give up, but life will always continue to go on. And when your day that you were supposed to be, that you were supposed to go away, you will. But right now is not your time to go. You are all so young. You are all so strong. You're stronger than you think you are. And you are worth more than you really do think you are. Don't ever put yourself down because of other people. And because other people tell you that you're fat, you're ugly, you're a slut, you're a whore, you're a cunt. Whatever they call you. Don't let those names get to you because you are so much more better than that. Be the mature one. And... Be the person that's strong and be the person that says, you know what, I don't care what you have to say about me. Your your words aren't going to get to me because I'm stronger than that. Because you are. And even to the people that hate me, like to my haters, this goes to you too. You are so much more worth than you think you are. And, you're, and if you're going through a hard time right now, just know that life gets so much better. There will always be bad days. There will all be, always be good days. But even when you're having a bad day and even when you're putting yourself down, looking in the mirror, calling yourself ugly, you're not. I promise. You are so damn beautiful or handsome. Which, who, whatever gender you are, you there is nothing... That can change you as a person. You were born the way that you were born. Nobody can tell you different. You you mean so, so much to this world. You were here for a reason. You were brought into this world for a reason. And you have to, you have to realize that. There are so many more better things to do than put others down. There really are. Just putting people up. When I put other, when I put people, like when I bring people's confidence up and when I compliment people, that makes them happy. That, that makes their mood. Even when you're having a bad day and you just want to take it out on other people and put them down, just remember that everybody has feelings and everybody's going through different things and you never know what could be going on behind a screen. You don't. But there are so many like, there are so many other ways that you can do. Like, there's so many other things that you can do to put your anger out on. You can, can completely just ignore it and just try your best to avoid it. The situation, take a warm bath, take a shower, watch your favorite movie, read. Anything that you love to do. 
Just do the things that make you happy. And you will become so much more stronger than you think. Just because your your mistakes don't define you. Correct. No matter what you do, no matter how many mistakes you've made, no matter what you've said to people, you don't deserve to be told the things that people told you. You don't deserve to be like to be called the names that you called people. And if you called somebody a name and if you've put somebody down before and you know that you have, you should definitely apologize and be the better person, be mature, be the person that everybody looks up to. A lot of you have siblings, a lot of you have younger siblings. Think as it think as if you told somebody to kill themselves or you called somebody a slut or a whore, how you would feel if somebody called you or your sibling that or your family, somebody in your family, if they called you those names or just in your friend group. You wouldn't like it. You'd be you'd feel so bad. You'd probably stick up for that person. And that's the same thing with me and Cody and other people that are getting hate. Like Danielle Cohn, one of the sweetest fucking people I think I've ever met in my entire life. And she gets called every name in the book, told she photoshops everything. She is so she is such a beautiful person inside and out, no matter what any of you say. Just like Tana Mojo. A lot of you put her down because she's different. Like, she just doesn't care what people have to say about her. And she's made mistakes, too. So many people have made mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But words do not define you as a person. And the mistakes that you have made do not define you as a person, either. They don't. I think that we should all show like show each other love. I think that love should be spread around this world because this generation sucks. And to be honest, when I'm older and I have a family, I'm t- I'm so scared to bring my to bring any child into this world one day from how many how hurtful people are and how mean people can be. But just know that you are so you are so much more than you think you are. You really are. You can do anything that your mind tells you you can do. Don't don't bring yourself down because you don't think you're good enough or because people don't think you're good enough. Because dreams come true. They do. Not everybody is going to agree with things that others do. Not everybody is going to like what other people do. But as long as you're keeping a positive attitude and as long as you're spreading love, there's no reason for people to hate you. And if people hate you, hate is such a strong word. People say things that they don't mean all the time and you just have to realize that. Not everything somebody says to you, like I know a lot of my fandom is getting, um, I know that my fandom is getting hate for supporting me. And I know that um, people that support me are getting hate, but you don't need to be taking that out on them. You don't need to be putting them down because they stand me or they like me. Not everybody has to like me. But what I did wasn't okay, and I know that. Cheating is not okay, but I still have feelings, and I, and I still cry. I still have a heart. I'm still human. I still breathe. But. You just have to. Really. Yup. You are always going to be. You are going to be a great mother. When your kids have problems. You are always going to be there for them. Yes. I will. Um, anyways, um, I love you guys, and if you don't support me, that's okay. That's totally okay. 
just remember that you're amazing. No matter what you've done wrong, no matter what mistakes and choices that you've made. It'll, it'll, it'll get better. It always will. It always gets better. People change. Remember that. People change. People, I am that person that hates, just hates when others cry, when others are sad. That's just, I hate it. It hurts. Even when I don't know you. I've answered so many DMs of you telling me that you want to die. And that hurts me because you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to feel that way. Some of you are so young and you're saying that to me and that just breaks my heart. It hurts. But just remember that I love you and I'm always here. Even if I don't respond for a couple days or weeks, months, I'll respond one day. And I'll help you. I broke three nails, by the way. Yeah. But I'm fixing them. Don't worry. But um, I just wanted to say that. And that I love you. And that, yeah. Have a, um, a good night, guys. Um, Smile. Even if you don't feel like smiling. That's why I've been smiling. Because... I've been trying so hard to smile because if I don't smile, I just bring myself down and you guys down and I need to, I need to boost myself up and I need to boost you guys up. I need to make you happy. You're my only priority right now besides my family and my friends. I love you and I hope you all have a good night. Bye.